is Miss Pam, and I work at Building the Blocks Child Development Center here in Spencer, West Virginia. And I have a book and a science project for you today. And you're just never going to believe what we're going to do this science project. Our book today is called Somewhere in the Ocean. Now, our oceans are huge, okay? They cover um, almost all of the Earth. Almost all the Earth is covered in different oceans. We have the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean. I mean, there's oceans everywhere. And in those oceans, there are so many different kinds of animals. While there's even animals in that ocean that we don't know what they are. We're finding new things every day in the oceans. And there are places in the ocean, you're never going to believe this, there are as deep as Mount Everest is tall. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world. And we got a trench down there called the Mariana Trench that is so deep, it's so deep. They're so deep in the ocean that some of the fish have headlights. I'm telling you, it's true. Well, let's read this book about the ocean and some animals that we may have seen before in the zoos or like at SeaWorld. Um, we'll see what we find out. Okay, here we go. Somewhere in the ocean where the water, warm waters run, lived a mother manatee and her little calf one. Nibble, said the mother. I nibble, said the one. So they nibbled sea lettuce where the warm waters run. That is a manatee. Somewhere in the ocean, in the waters clear and blue, lived a pod of orca whales and their little calves too. Splash, said the mother. Splash, we splashed, said the two. So they jumped and they splashed in the waters clear and blue. Somewhere in the ocean, in a sea anemone, lived a mother clownfish and her baby fish three. Nestle, said the mother. We nestle, said the three. So they nestled safe and snug in their sea anemone. Somewhere in the ocean, in a tide pool by the shore, lived a mother hermit crab and her baby crabs four. Dress, said the mother. We dress, said the four. So they tried on different shells in their tide pool by the shore. Now the little hermit crab, this one's trying out this shell, and this one's trying out this shell. A hermit crab, when he gets, I mean, like if he started out in that shell, and when he gets a little bit bigger, his shell's too tight. He has to find a different one. So he goes through and he tries the shell, and maybe he'll try that shell or this one or that one until he finds a shell that fits him and he gets a new home. Somewhere in the ocean where the kelp forests thrive lived a raft of sea otters and their baby otters five. Munch, said the mothers. We munch, said the five. So they munched prickly urchins where the kelp forests thrive. And sea otters actually sleep like that. They'll sleep on their backs in the middle of the ocean. Just sleeping. There's one. He's, he's been down. He caught him a sea urchin. And he's going to come up there. And believe it or not, they eat those prickly things. Somewhere in the ocean where the seas and rivers mix, lived a mother tire shark and her little pups six. Now, we read this book yesterday in my class. And the kids said, pups, puppies, I don't see any puppies. Well, pups are actually what you call a baby shark. So these are actually pups. They don't look like they are furry and have big floppy ears, do they? And I don't know that I've ever seen a pup with t sharp teeth like that. Hmm. Cruz, said the mother. We cruised, said the six, so they cruised and they hunted where the seas and rivers mix. Somewhere in the ocean where the sea grass grows, 
So even lived a father seahorse and his wee babies seven. Hold on, said the father. We hold on, said the seven. So they held and they swayed where the seagrass grows so even. And they got their little tails wrapped around the pieces of grass to hold on. Somewhere in the ocean where the water shimmers late lived a mother sea turtle and her baby turtles ate. Paddle, said the mother. We paddle, said the eight. So they paddled in the moonlight where the water shimmers late. Somewhere in the ocean, drifting slowly in a line, lived a mother jellyfish and her baby jellies nine. Zap, said the mother. We zap, said the nine. So they zapped tasty tidbits as they drifted in a line. Somewhere in the ocean in a coral reef den lived a mother octopus and her little baby's tin. Squirt, said the mothers. We squirt, said the tin. So they squirted and they played in their coral reef den. Now this stuff right here coming out, that is actually ink. Okay, when an octopus gets scared, they squirt ink out so it makes a cloud of ink in the water, and that way they can escape. They can get away from the something that's scaring them. So, and then here is all kinds of little things about all the different animals that are in this book. We're going to read this one right here about the octopus. Octopuses are some of the most intelligent animals in the ocean. They can get to food that is inside a jar with the lid screwed on. One of the special things about them is that not only can they change the color of their skin, but they can also change the texture of it to blend in with their surroundings. It's like camouflage. They can look like a piece of seaweed or a bit of coral if they choose to. This is called posturing. Sometimes different colors mean different things to an octopus. When they turn white, it usually means that they are frightened, while red means they are angry. An octopus can also squirt dark liquid ink, colored ink into the water, which is used to confuse predators so the octopus can escape undetected. An octopus mother dies shortly after her eggs hatch. The octopuses can be found in oceans all over the world. And there is an octopus. All right, now there's all kinds of other little things that we could read on there, but we are just going to read about the octopus because we have a science experiment to do about an octopus. Now, one of the things that they didn't tell you about octopuses in, the, in this book is that octopuses can get into some very small places, okay? So what I have to show you today in our science experiment is... I have this bowl. Now, I took my bowl, and it's just a, a, a bowl that you get at the store, and I turned it over, and I, and I put some markers on it, and I colored it, and I made some fish, and some um, put some stickers on it, and some coral, and an eel, and there's a crab, and some starfish, and some seaweed, and so... But there's a little hole right there, and this up here is going to be our rock. And what are you supposed to go in that little big hole, the little, little tiny hole? Well, it's going to be our octopus. Now, I'm going to lay these towels down here so I can show you our octopus. And he is just made out of a plastic bag. Now, he doesn't look like much now, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have some water, and I have a little bit of food coloring. Now, we're going to take our bag, and we're going to open it up. Now, this is the one that has a zipper on it, and we're going to pour the water, and this is about two cups of water, into the bag. Okay, now I'm going to add 
I think I'm going to add one drop of blue. And I'm going to add one drop of red food coloring. One drop of blue, one drop of red. And then, put my food coloring away. We're going to zip it up tight and we're going to kind of squeeze it down a little bit, just a little. That kind of gets some of the extra air out of it. And then we're going to shake it. And look what happened. We made purple. So now we have a purple octopus. And he's a little squishy. See? It's kind of fun. You can put some glitter in there. And you could just play with your octopus like that. But now, that's not much of a science project, is it? Let's try this. Do you think, now this is a bag and it's got two cups of water in it, okay? And that's our octopus. Do you think that our octopus can go in that little tiny hole? That little tiny hole right there. Well, let's find out. The first thing we got to make sure we do before we do this experiment, science experiment is we need to make sure that we are someplace that we're not going to make a mess. And if we make a little bit of a mess, we can clean it up. So I'm on the table and I've got some paper towels just in case we have a leak. Okay? Because yesterday, yesterday I had a little tiny bit of a leak right there around the seal of my octopus. So we're going to try to make sure that's up, shoved up there really good. And let's get this bowl. And we're going to see if we can get our big octopus. And look at that. This is the size of the octopus and that's the size of the hole. You think it's going to go in there? Let's give it a try. Well, the first thing the octopus is going to do is he's going to come over here and he's going to take his tentacles, that's what they call their arms, and he's going to stick a tentacle down in the hole. And he's going to keep on putting his tentacles down in the hole. And slide that in down in there. And we're sliding it all uh oh. What are we going to do? How is that going to go in there? How is that going to work? Well, the funny thing about an octopus is that an octopus doesn't have bones. So an octopus can take water from one part of its body and squeeze it into another part of its body. So he's going to squeeze And here we go. A little bit more of it down in there. You think it's gonna work? Are you ready? Here he goes. Here he goes. Look at this. Look at that. Ta-da! And look at that. Our octopus is all the way inside his home. Can you believe that? Can you believe that octopus went in that little wee bitty hole? And guess what? We get a hold of him and we pull him out. We get him back out, do you think? Pull it out. Comes the octopus. He's squeezing the water from one part of his body up into the other part of his body. He's Whoop. I think my bag's leaking a little bit. Here he goes. Squeeze the water up into his body and out the hole he comes. And there you have it, a great big octopus in and out of a little tiny hole.
Can you believe it fit? It sure did. All right, well, I I learned a lot about an octopus when I started doing my lesson plan. Um, I learned that they don't have any bones, um, that they can use their tentacles like fingers and open a jar. And I also saw a video online where these fishermen had caught this giant, giant octopus. And there was a little tiny hole about, oh, maybe about that big. And that octopus, that giant octopus, went out that little itty bitty hole. It was amazing. They're amazing creatures. So, well, I hope you uh, learned something about an octopus today. And I hope you had fun. And I will see you next time. Bye.